With this video, we're going to take a look at the next step after you put in your company-wide login IP ranges and assigned login hours to each profile. The next step in the order of operations for security on the security model within Salesforce is what's called OWD, Organizational Wide Defaults. So the first thing we're going to do in setup is go to sharing settings. And once we're in sharing settings, you are going to see the org wide defaults for all objects within your Salesforce instance. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the leads object. And so a very important point here is organizational wide defaults only apply to all records that you do not own. So those that you do own, it will not apply to. Now for the lead, what we're saying here is all leads that I do not own are going to be public read write, which means that users that do not own that lead will be able to edit them and they will be able to look at them. And for anything that is going to be interfaced through something like Experience Cloud, is going to be only public read only. So you've got a couple options here. So you can change it to private, which means you will not see anything that you do not own. Public read only, where you'll only see those records you do not own, but you will not be able to write the public read write option, which we're on now. And then the public read write transfer, which is the maximum permission that you are able to have with this for lead records that you do not own. So something to keep in mind is that the external access cannot be beyond the internal access. So if I try to make this publicly read write transfer and click save, I get an I get an error message there because it cannot be greater than the default internal access. So again, make sure that when it comes to records that you do not own but want to extend functionality and visibility into that you come to organizational wide sharing defaults first. 